Hello, and welcome to Common Sense Politics TV. I'd like to share a few thoughts on why I think the Republican base is so upset with the RNC. Most of the Republican voters do not think that Ted Cruz is stealing delegates. They know the candidates agreed to the rules before the campaign started. I think that Donald Trump has exposed how corrupt the delegate system truly is. Many voters thought that they vote, and the delegates at the convention support the will of the people. Every state has different rules, and I am all for the states being independent from the federal government but, just because a state claims to be winner takes all, it could be, loser takes all, like in Pennsylvania. If you google realclearpolitics.com, you will see Pennsylvania has 71 delegates and it is, supposedly, a winner takes all state. However, that is simply not true. It's not even close. Here is a video of the primary rules for the state of Pennsylvania. The Pennsylvania Republican primary system explained. Pennsylvania has 71 delegates, made up of 54 district level delegates, 14 at-large delegates, and 3 RNC delegates. The Republican National Committee delegates have to vote for the winner of the state's primary. At-large delegates also have to vote for the winner of the primary. They are selected at a state committee meeting. There are three district delegates for each of the 18 congressional districts in Pennsylvania. They can vote for whomever they personally want to and are elected by voters during the primary. The Pennsylvania Republican primary is April 26. On that day, Republicans will vote on a candidate for the presidential nomination and for a delegate for the convention. Those delegates elect the presidential candidate at the Republican National Convention. Candidates need 1,237 delegates to win the nomination. If no candidate gets that amount, they will vote again. This time, however, the 14 at-large delegates and 3 RNC delegates can vote for whomever they want. That means we'll have to wait to find out who becomes the presidential nominee for the Republican Party until after the Republican National Convention, which is held on July 18th through 21st. In Pennsylvania, not only do you vote for the presidential candidate, you also vote for the delegates to represent your state. The problem is, these are usually anonymous people no one has ever heard of and have no idea who they will support. Even if they say they will support the candidate you like, he or she could change their mind. So, the nominee could be decided, regardless of what the voters say. Every other election, we didn't notice. Every other election, the establishment's candidate won the election so the delegates seemed to pick the person the voters wanted. It is obvious now, that the delegates pick who the insiders want. This is nonsense. It's corrupt. It's milk cow saliva. Milk cow, meaning bull. Saliva, meaning spit. It's bull spit. Thanks for watching and, good night.